Hi everyone, this is Tanya from Lingo.com and uh, today we're going to start practicing the ideas that I spoke about in my previous video. So there's this very nice page called Generative AI on LinkedIn. Um, every day, almost every day, they publish new ideas of um, use of Generative AI and ChatGPT for different uh, applications, including education. So I decided that I'm just going to uh, to take one of their recent posts and try the prompt search it's suggesting in ChatGPT, and we're going to do this together. So continue watching this video for more. So uh, we have chosen that we're going to brainstorm uh, the lesson plan. <clears throat> so, uh, this is what I've written. Brainstorm an end of the school year ESL a lesson plan for ninth graders level B1. I need three activities to summarize the topics we have studied, such as the present perfect, the past perfect, and the sequence of tenses. I need one reading, one speaking, and one grammar activity. The goal is to have fun using um, English and repeat the topics um we've studied use the summer job topic as a base for the texts and activities well it's because sometimes you know ninth graders are looking for some <clears throat> some summer jobs and it might be interesting for them so i have basically covered all uh, the um uh, elements that mentioned in the post that we've seen and now i'm just going to see what happens and i'm going to check if it actually works for me as a teacher so i'm, I'm hitting enter and i'm just going to see what uh, chat gpt has to offer <clears throat> so it says yes sure here's a suggestion for an end of the year, school year esl pl a lesson plan for ninth graders at level b1 um so the, t the theme is summer job this lesson should take around 60 minutes and then it just goes and creates the text for me. So the first activity, as I requested, is the reading activity. The second one is the speaking activity, and, uh, and then it's uh, also suggesting um, the time limit for the, each activity. As you can see here, it says 20 minutes, and if I just go to the first one, it also should take about 20 minutes. So, uh, of course, if your lesson is shorter than that, if your lesson is 45 minutes only, so you should probably cut each activity a little bit to uh, suit your lesson. Okay, to make it suit your lesson. Grammar activity, uh, tense review game. So let's just have a look at the, the flow. The first one is uh, it's called summer, job around, summer Jobs Around the World. Um, uh, we're giving each student a short text about different teenagers from various countries who are planning on having a summer job. These things can be easily found on the internet, and um, I'm just going to you know, look for them and print them out. Each student will have a different story, but all stories will contain examples of the present perfect, past perfect, and sequence of tenses. Well, that is not very difficult to find. For example, in Spain, Miguel has always wanted to be a lifeguard at the local beach. He has applied and been accepted for the job this summer. Last year, he had saved enough money to take a lifeguard course and pass with flying colors. <laughs> so this is just a short example of a story. Now, we can look for more stories on the internet, but we can also ask ChatGPT to write more stories and, and then we can just print them out. Okay, it's easy to do. So we can take this story as a core and ask ChatGPT to, to write um, five more stories or 10 more stories. It depends on uh, the amount of students, uh, that, uh, the amount of different stories and the amount of students in the class. Okay, <clears throat> students are to read the story, uh, to read their text, and then answer comprehension questions such as, what kind of job is this person doing? And uh, what had he done before he applied for the job? So we're going to uh, add another prompt here. Uh, write 
uh, five more. Um, again, if I have 20 students, so I'll write 20. If I have a small class or small group, so I'll just use the amount of students in the class to, to give the prompt. But let's say I have five more students, so I'll write five more stories uh, using the same uh, model as the following story. And then I'm just going to quote this story. Okay. Um, while ChatGPT is writing more stories, uh, and you can see in Italy, Francesca has always dreamed of being a tour guide. In Canada, Liam has always loved nature and camping. So we're going to get more short, short prompts like this, short stories like this, and we are going to give everyone the same comprehension questions because they're going to be the same questions for everybody, for the whole class. Okay, and then the second activity is the speaking activity. For this activity, you can set up a role play exercise where students have to interview each other for a summer job uh, using the information from the, from the card, from the reading activity. One student is the interviewer and the other one is the applicant. Uh, we have to write the list of questions. What experience do you have? Why do you want this job? Can you tell me more about the time when you show leadership skills and so forth? So we're going to encourage the students to use the present perfect, past perfect sequence of tenses for that. After about 10 minutes, we have to switch roles because we have two, like if we're going to do that in couples, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, what I need is a list of questions. And again, if I'm not, if I don't have enough time to write the questions myself, I can ask ChatGPT to do that. Uh, write a list of job interview questions for activity number two. Um, so how many questions do I want? Maybe if it's just 10 minutes, I would like it to be, um, maybe 10 questions or even less, maybe seven questions. Write a list of seven job interview questions. Okay. And then ChatGPT is going to create um, to create this list that I can copy paste onto a page and print out or create cards if I want. Okay. So I've got the extra stories. I've got the extra questions. My lesson is almost done. The, the only thing left is the grammar activity. So wrap up the lesson with a fun grammar game with, um, uh, that will review the present perfect, past perfect, and sequence of tenses. Write a list of 20 sentences on the board, each missing a verb. Each sentence will correspond to a certain tense. Students will form teams and take turns coming to the board to fill in the correct form of the verb in the tense required. For example, for the sentence, by the end of the summer, I... And then we have to, to use the word save to fill in the gap. Enough money for a new laptop. Okay, I will have saved future perfect. Make it competitive by awarding points to the team who answers correctly. First, you can do that or you can just skip that if you if you don't like giving points. Okay, um, so again, for this grammar activity, we might need some extra ideas. We might need some extra sentences. Okay, um, so I'm just going to use this. Um, Write a list of 20 sentences um, um, for a gap filling exercise focused on the present perfect, past perfect, <coughs> and, and the sequence of tenses <coughs> and ChatGPT is going to create a list of sentences and which I can write on the board uh, for this uh, fun grammar activity. 
that's it. So we, the, our lesson is ready. The only thing left is to copy paste the, the, uh, the outcome to page uh, or PDF file. You can create a PDF file. You can just create a word file and print it out, uh, print out copies. And that's it. Your lesson is ready. I hope you enjoyed watching that and creating a lesson with me. You're welcome to share your own lessons uh, that you have, you've created with using ChatGPT um, here in the comments and uh, um, enjoy your teaching. See you next time.